How many, how long did it take you to do this series of work, Pratika? Um, we spent um, an entire year almost doing... Um, entire this, what? An entire year. So we spent... So I thought you said. Uh, yes, we, um, you know, there was a, there were about um, several big stories that we did about eight to ten um, that made it on the front page of the journal. And uh, one of the projects that I worked on was following five police women on their daily beat for eight months. Um, and it, it was, um, at times, it was frustrating. Um, it was compelling, and it was really eye-opening for me because, uh, you know, we found that uh, women who were thrust onto the front lines of India's battle uh, to combat, uh, you know, this violence against women, those women themselves are bogged down by a tradition. For instance, one of the young uh, police women we followed, and these were all police women in their early 20s, uh, one of them would never go home alone. She would always take uh, one of her male colleagues with her, and he would drop her to her house because she said that even as a cop, she doesn't feel safe on Delhi's roads. Another was actually assaulted on her way back home from uh, police duty. And um, one of their batchmates, in fact, which uh, we, uh, we did a big story on her, she committed suicide because uh, her husband would abuse her. And she, being a cop, on her day job, she would tell women, you know, come and report abuse. And she herself never reported it. And it went to the extent where she uh, committed suicide. So, uh, you know, and, and my team uh, made some, I mean, you saw all of them up there. They, each of them worked on uh, similar stories that required uh, extensive months of, you know, research and sort of ground reporting. Jason, how long did <coughs> your, your series on Miramar take? Well, I mean, it, it depends um, how you look at it. I mean, some stories took, um, you know, weeks to do and, and months, and some stories themselves took, uh, you know, a week or so, but the, or a few weeks. Um, but I think the way that we look at it is the, uh, the, the project, you could really actually say that project was um, a sort of two-year project um, or even longer. Uh, you know, we really started looking at this when Myanmar started opening up in, late 2011, early 2012. Um, about uh, in May 2012, there was uh, some uh, unrest, uh, communal unrest in Rakhine State. And at that time, you know, we, the world didn't know very much about the Rohingya. The world, we didn't as journalists, we actually, our understanding, because Myanmar had been closed off for half a century, our understanding of, of the dynamics in these areas were, were very, uh, was all very, fairly new to us. Um, we were, uh, so during that unrest, we had some, uh, uh, our photographer and a cameraman out, at, out in those areas, and w the stories that we were getting were that the Rohingya were um, essentially burning their own homes, and we were just, why would someone burn their own home? Uh, you know, we were wondering about that. Why, why would, uh, this doesn't make any sense. Um, and so we worked with our cameraman and photographer at that time in May 2012, to try to understand that unrest. And we started realizing when really sort of talking to them and having them go out and interview people that actually, well, in fact, you know, their, their homes were being destroyed by the ethnic Rakhine Buddhists. Um, and so the next uh, sort of bout of unrest in sort of Octo late October 2012, when that happened, uh, we managed to get journalist visas and went there ourselves and, and managed to find a way to get permission to get out, go out into the, the, the state. And, and we did our own investigation at that time. And then when we looked at it then, we realized that it actually it's not just, um, it's not random, it's not, the, 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 the violence wasn't random, it was actually systematic and organized by the, the, the political parties in that area um, against the, the, the Rohingya. I mean, there was some violence by the Rohingya against the, the, the Buddhists, but it was actually, um, for the most part, very much uh, systematically organized by the ethnic Rakhine Buddhists against the Rohingya. Um, so that was a big investigation. That, well, you know, we spent um, a, a large amount of time uh, in, that, in that area pulling this together.